Aston Villa are a club with an incredibly rich history in English football. In the early 80s, they managed to win the European Cup, which is now, of course, the Champions League, and they also managed to win the Premier League. But in modern times, Aston Villa aren't all that great. They obviously got relegated a few years ago, but are back in the Premier League now, and with the likes of Jack Grealish leading them, they're looking a lot better. And in today's episode, I thought Aston Villa would be a really great club to try and fix and make them one of the best teams in England as well as Europe. So that's exactly what we're doing today. It's a fixing Aston Villa challenge. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a grind because apart from Grealish and Emiliano Martinez, we're looking at a very weak team, but I'm here for the grind. Here's a quick overview of the rules of today's fixing Friday challenge with Aston Villa. The objective win the Champions League. We can make any transfers required. We've got to simulate every single game that we play, but once we do get to that Champions League final, that's a game we can play to wrap up the challenge. And also, we must keep Jack Grealish. I want to try and make this challenge around Grealish. So, yep, we can't sell him. That's the rule. All right, so if you're excited for a Fixing Friday with Aston Villa, please do drop a like on the video. I really appreciate the support. It helps the channel grow massively. So, go on there and drop a like on this one. Subscribe as well for daily FIFA career mode content. And let's begin the grind with Aston Villa. What are we looking at for season one, guys? Oh, this, this team with Jack Grealish looks insane. We might need to change his position because I don't want him being a left winger when he's clearly a cam. Ollie Watkins up top. I'm sure he can really go high in his overall. Sanson is pretty effective, former Marseille player. We've got Tyron Mings, um, was playing the Euros with England, by the way. And of course, this man, my favorite keeper in the world right now, Emiliano Martinez. This guy, man, is just unreal. Had a legacy Copa America and hopefully he can help us win trophies with, of course, Villa. He's only 27, which makes it even better on the bench. We've got options. Um, Ross Barkley, decent. Wesley, decent. We're looking at a team with a lot of good youngsters, guys, but not incredible quality i'd say in the first 11 apart from Grealish and emiliano martinez but hey but hey that's why we're here budget wise it's nothing too insane about 36 million to spend first season the objective is to finish mid table i think we can definitely get that sorted first order of business is definitely going to be getting Grealish to cam hopefully it won't take too long just a couple of weeks perfect anyone else feel like this is some incredible business as we've signed harvey barnes for 38 million now to fund this i actually had to sell um anwar el ghazi but he's 27 he's not going to go anywhere for us and to get that extra bit of cash and of course fund the harvey barnes transfer it's a smart thing to do 38 million i think is gonna be a really good deal in the long run for us and a player like him he's english as well 81 rated straight away slots into our first team i think it's some incredible business completely forgot about this guys but we've got an absolute baller from the youth academy now last couple of fixing challenges we haven't really got to use the youth academy prospect i'm gonna try and make it a point to use thomas Mello in this um fixing challenge so let's promote him to the senior team we're going to loan him out for the first couple of seasons i think he is more of a center back than actually um a cdm by the looks of stats so we might actually first convert him to a center back and then see what we can do with him okay guys we've just used every drop of cash we've had to pull off this transfer callum hudson adoy to aston villa is a done deal for 23 and a half million it was difficult negotiating with chelsea but we got it done right winger 19 he's gonna be a key part of the team now our attack consists of grealish Hudson Odoi, Barnes, and Ollie Watkins. Things you do love to see. Hey, the team is coming together. We've had an incredible transfer window to start off this fixing Villa challenge. I mean, look at the team right now. Backline is looking good. The midfield is looking amazing as well. The attack is looking decent. I'm loving it, boys. I'm absolutely loving this challenge. So we're now going to sim until January and just see where this Villa team is at. Honestly, my goal for this first season is to just create a good foundation, get some of the overalls and our key players up. That's all I'm hoping for, guys. In the first season, we're not going to win any trophies, so that's the smart play. We'll start challenging for trophies, I feel, when we get towards season three. Well, that's it for Ross Barkley. He's back at Chelsea. I feel like EA need to fix the loaning stuff. When you simulate, it feels like the, the managers just don't use the, the loan players. But oh well, it is what it is, I 
guess. Hey, yo. Wait, 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 wait what? We're, we're, we're fourth in the Premier League, guys. Arsenal fifth. Manchester United sixth. Chelsea seventh. Okay. Okay, that's all I can say. Absolutely incredible. I didn't expect to potentially get a Champions League spot from season one. Goes to show how good this team already was. And, and with a couple of signings we've made, we've taken it even further. Okay, so the overalls on everybody have gone up massively. Look at Barnes. Look at Grealish, 85 now. The midfield is looking insane. Even the players on the bench are going up in their ratings. Yo, it's, it's all coming together now. By the way, I changed the position of Thomas Mello, and he's now a 73-rated centre-back. We'll put him on another development plan. I'm thinking he's already good enough to just keep at the club. So, yep, we're, we're not going to loan him out. Now, in the other news, um, we don't really have money, so we're not going to make any more signings in this window. Let's just fire our way to the end of the season and see where we finish. I'm excited now. Okay, I've just realized I've had the face cam on the top right for pretty much um, the entirety of the video so far. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer it like this or at the bottom like this as we normally run it. Um, let me know in the comment section. We'll have that fixed for the next one. Well, it was too good to be true. First season getting in the Champions League uh, would have been a bit too much, but still we finished sixth. That should get us into the Europa League next season. So progress, progress, progress. City, Spurs, Liverpool and Man United close out the top four. 20 wins this season though is very impressive, 60 goals scored, 41 conceded, not too bad, we finished above the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and Wolves, so that's impressive, relegation teams, uh, Crystal Palace, Sheffield and West Brom are going down, Ollie Watkins top scorer, not surprised at all, 16, Barnes with a good season with 12, he's 85 rated now, that's mental, Jack Grealish gone up by 3, 86 rated, 9 goals, 9 assists, would love to see him maybe lift a trophy next season. Bertrand Traore, he's actually pushed um, Hudson Odoi out of the team somehow, which is fair enough. Cash with a good season. McGinn doing well. His job at Sanson as well. Overall, I think everybody has done pretty well. Season one for me was just building the foundations of the team, but we've actually overachieved and managed to get a Europa League spot which has definitely fast-tracked our progress and we could be looking at Champions League football for next season. So, this season, the goal is to improve the team even further, probably looking at that midfield to instill a bit more quality, maybe getting some depth in the fullback positions, but yeah, there are a lot of stuff we can do right now, but overall, every player in this team is above the overall of 80. We've got a very good bench. I'm loving it. And we're looking at about 58 million in the bank. The money is definitely there. Our first signing of season two has been made, and it's a pretty smart signing. I'd say Ezekiel Palacios for about 28 million. I think he offers a lot of value in that deal. Um, a lot of potential as well. He'll compete with Sanson for that starting spot. He's going to join Emiliano Martinez, fellow Copa America winners. I think it's a very smart signing to make instead of signing like a superstar midfielder. We couldn't afford them anyways because midfielders were like 70 million plus, like the ones that were 84, 85 rated. So I feel like getting a youngster is just smart. Just signed James Justin from Leicester. He's one of the go-to players to sign for that left-back spot. We needed a bit of depth there, so I decided to go for him. 23 million seems like a solid deal for someone who's already 79 rated. So yeah, a couple of really neat transfers. No superstar signing in this window. We're just balancing out our squad well. I think I've taken a different approach to season two. Usually, when we go into further seasons, I tend to sign a lot of established players. But this time, I'm trying to do things a bit different. And let's see how far it gets us. So for season two, the core of our team still says pretty much the same. But of course, everybody is a lot higher rated. And let's see where we finish uh, come end of season of course we've got cash left if needed we can make signings come january we're in the europa league as well so let's him until january and see where we're at okay so the battle is on for a champions league spot but it's not gonna be easy because it's still a point that separates us and man united we were better off last season come halfway through the season so huh interesting it's gonna be an interesting january window maybe we try and improve the team if we can let's see what we can do guys because i want to try and turn into the champions league this season oh my god 
We've been knocked out in the group stages of the Europa League. Yikes, that's a first. This normally never happens. Nice and Shakhtar finish above us. It's because we had five draws. Wow, is that a surprise. Player growth has definitely slowed down on a lot of players. Maybe that's what affected us. Oli Watkins has done well so far. I think, yeah, Sanson. We should replace him with Palacios in that midfield. Um, Traore for hudson Odoi. And that's how I guess we're going to run the setup. But I really don't know what improvements to make this season. Because the cash we've got, I don't think is enough to improve the team this season. So I guess we'll just run it until the end of the season. And next season we start making big, big improvements. Because clearly signing just a few youngsters, this approach hasn't worked well for us. I mean, we could still get Champions League football for next season, so let's see. Okay, guys, this sucks. We were forced to sell Douglas Luis to Benfica for about 19.4 million. We had no say in this. He didn't want to renew the contract with us, and yep, it happens so often. Fair play, I guess. So we actually have managed to get some transfer business done with the sale of, of course, um, Douglas Luis. We got some extra cash. I was looking for the CDM. And we've improved our midfield tremendously with the signing of Zakaria. He was playing at Spurs, now we've brought him to Villa. We can of course maybe even convert him to a centre-back, but I'd rather have him slotting in that CDM role for us. And that's how our team looks now until the end of the season. At the addition of Zakaria, I feel is huge. The rest of the setup is looking amazing as well. Let's see if we can get ourselves Champions League football come end of season. Leicester City have won the Premier League again. Wow, that's mental, you know, even without Harvey Barnes we signed from them. But of course, the good news is we're going to Champions League next season. Let's go. Aston Villa finished third in the Premier League. Look at that, a three-way tie between Liverpool, Villa and City at 81 points. But yeah. Champions League football has been secured for next season, which is superb. Spurs outside the top four. Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, all of them. Bournemouth, Fulham and Nottingham Forest going back down. Oh my god, that's awful from Nottingham Forest. Just six points. Yikes. We're killing it in season two, guys. I mean, look at it stats-wise. Harvey Barnes, 31 goals. Watkins, 22. 14 assists as well. More than just the goal scorer. This is Grealish's best season, that's for sure. 14 goals and 12 assists. Hudson Odoi, better than last season. McGinn did okay. Bertrand Traore, not too bad. Sanson, Cash. Zakaria, I think, had a fairly big impact after joining us. So that's just proven to being a really good signing. So, Champions League football, here we come. Season 3 begins and what a team we've got here, guys. I genuinely feel the team we've got here is capable of reaching even the semi-finals of this competition. Like, this is genuinely insane. I think defense, if we improve a little bit, will be looking solid, guys. Our keeper is super high rated, 87. The midfield is insane. The, the attack is insane. We've got a strong bench as well. Yeah, I'm really excited and keen to see how we perform in Season 3 of the Aston Villa save. But remember, last season, we were looking good. Maybe even favourites for the Europa League and we completely bottled it. So you still never know. But we've got the Champions League money kicking in, boys. 134 million to spend. Let's go. Let's see what we can do with this. It's taken us a couple of seasons, but we finally made a hundred million signing. And it's a defender. I know spending that kind of money on defenders can be, you know, hit and miss. But with Laporte, I think it'll, it'll just be a, a blockbuster hit, guys. He's going to replace Tyron Mings in the starting 11. 100 million for him. I know he's 28, but look at that rating. 89. He's going to make the defense 10 times better, guys. And... Yep, we've blown pretty much most of our cash on this, so let's hope it's worth it. We've got about 33 million left in the bank, but I doubt we're going to use it right now. We'll keep that for maybe contract negotiations, because right now with the signing of Laporte, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the team. Like, look at this, guys. Uh, okay, where's Laporte gone? Um, okay, he's on international duty, but we've got a strong bench, an incredible first 11. Let's see what we can achieve this season. Let's sim until January and see where we're at, hopefully, in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Okay, guys, so I completely forgot to check cup competitions the last couple of seasons, and it turns out we actually won the Carabao Cup. It's bugging me so much that we can't find out who, will be, who we faced in that Carabao Cup final. Oh, it's so annoying, guys, but 
Yeah, it's my fault. It wasn't the FA Cup because I didn't see that game on the final, um, you know, calendar of simulations. Maybe I can look back at the footage and find out. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, we've got a Community Shield final. We've already won a trophy, so we've got a bit of experience. Hopefully, we can win this as well. All right, here we go. Community Shield final. It's Carabao Cup winners up against uh, Premier League winners from last season. Let's see if we can win this. We really should with the team we've got. Okay, fair enough, Leicester. Just goes to show we've still got a lot of improvements to make. To be fair, they had two shots and they scored off both. Halfway through this season, top of the Premier League, boys. We could be winning the Premier League after what? 81-82 was when they last won. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40 years of no Premier League glory for Aston Villa. And that could change come end of this season. Superb, but... I don't understand how Man United and even Arsenal for that matter just have underperformed so much in this fixing challenge. But oh well, Liverpool giving us a tough fight. West Ham are in it. City are in it. It's going to be a tough finish to the end. The good news is this time we don't mess up in Europe. We did mess up in uh, the Europa League last season, but here we are. Aston Villa, top of Group F with Porto, Lazio and Besiktas. We got a bit lucky with the group though, but we're through to the round of 16. And we'll be up against Spartak Moscow. That gives us a good chance to go through. I'll take it. I used pretty much most of my remaining cash to renew contracts and a lot of the players. And now I guess there isn't really much we can do. So we're just going to keep the squad as is. Push until the end of the season and see where we are in the Champions League. You know what? On paper, this team with a bit of luck in the draw could even make a Champions League final. That's how good and smartly we've built the team. Completing an Aston Villa fixing challenge in three seasons would be tremendous, but we need to get through the round of 16 first, so let's get it done. Honestly, this shouldn't be much of a problem, especially considering the team we've built. So let's see what happens. There you go. A 2-0 win. We'll take it. Let's see how we can do in the second leg. Second leg against Spartak Moscow. This should just be a formality and we just about get through. There you go. 3-0 on aggregate. Quarterfinals. Here we come. And this is where it could go horribly wrong. But a fair few different clubs in the quarterfinals. Leicester are in here. Interesting. Juve Bayern, Napoli, Barca, Leicester, Atleti. We're up against PSG though. Oh my god. This is probably the most difficult opponent we could have gotten along with Bayern. Here we go. Oh man, Neymar and Mbappe dealing with them. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. And not just that, look at their back line. This is going to be mental. First leg against PSG. Come on, give me a good result. 3-1, what? Yo, we might be completing this challenge in three seasons. That's mental. Barnes, Watkins and Grealish stepping up. Come on now, they've got an away goal, so the second leg is still important. 3-1 up, there's no way we can choke this. We're in prime position to get it done. Second leg away in Paris. 1-0 win for PSG, but that should be enough to send us through to the semi-finals. Wow. First season back in the Champions League and we've made it to the semis. Yo, the luck is with us. We got a very lucky draw in the semi-finals, but I'm calling it lucky. I'm just hoping we don't bottle it. We're up against Napoli in the semi-finals. The luck is truly with us, but then again, we did knock out PSG. So it could be a final against Bayern or Atleti, but first we need to get through against Napoli. Hey, here we go, guys. Aston Villa versus Napoli. This is going to be tense. This is going to be very intense. And we're lacking stamina on a lot of our players in that Napoli team looks insane come on first leg against them 1-0 win oh my god it is tight we got an away goal here as well second leg back in England it's looking likely man it is looking likely that we make a Champions League final with Villa can we get the job done can we do it Aston Villa versus Napoli let's not mess about here let's get the job done 3-1 Barnes with a brace a red card for Bastoni Champions League final. Here we come. And of course, by the looks of things, it is Bayern we're facing in the Champions League final. What I'm really keen on is finding out whether we've won the Premier League or not. So also, I don't think we've made any cup competition final. I, I checked the Carabao Cup as well. So it's all about whether we've won the Prem or not. And yes, we have. And by a big margin. 12 points over Liverpool. What a dominant season from Aston Villa. 83 goals scored, just 27 conceded. We've built a monster team and we've gotten the job done. Premier League champions after 40 years. Villa have won the Premier League. Superb to see. 
Manchester United have just gotten progressively worse in this save. Very interesting to see Burnley going down as well. What are we looking like in the FA Cup? Who won that? I'd love to find out. Man City. I remember seeing us get knocked out by Brighton in the semis. That was a bit of a bummer, but hey, it's all about the Champions League now for us as we take on Bayern. Oh, Jack Grealish with a legacy season in the Premier League. 26 top scorer. Oli Watkins, second top scorer. No wonder we won the league by a big margin. Barnes top assisted as well. Jack Grealish with a 30 goal season. You know how mental that is for a cam. 90 rated now, by the way. Oli Watkins, 88 rated. How is he growing when he's like 27? I don't know, but he's done it. 29 this season. Barnes with a great season. He is now 91 rated. Hudson Adoy had a bit of a tough one with an injury, but still 11 goals. Not too bad. Bertrand Traore is in there as well. Palacios did pretty well. Zakaria has come in and really stepped up in that CDM role. And also, look at this, guys. How on earth does Emiliano Martinez have five assists? He's a keeper. Hey, he's got a game face as well on FIFA. I didn't know that. I love this man, honestly. But yeah, that's, that's a bit hilarious. Anyways, time for the Champions League final. We might have to take a bit of a risk starting Hudson Odoi. I don't want to start Bertrand Traore. Even though Hudson Odoi isn't fully fit, I'd rather go with him. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Apart from that, Grealish, Watkins, Palacios, Zakaria, Consa, Emiliano, Martinez in net. That is our team. What about Bayern, Lewandowski, Rashford, Rafinha, Awar? Some very interesting signings. They've got Roca at right back, Zuma and Hermoso. I love Hermoso, you guys know all about him. Neuer in net. Here we go, guys. Villa versus Bayern, Champions League final. In three seasons, we've managed to get here. It's at Wembley as well. We've got the home crowd advantage. Let's do this. Here we go, guys. Aston Villa, Bayern Munich, Champions League final. It's at Wembley as well. Oh, seeing Emiliano Martinez always makes my day. What a keeper, man. Maybe we can see some penalty saves from him in this one. I don't know, we'll see. That Bayern team is insane, but I'm confident. Pretty sure I'm yet to lose a Champions League final in one of these fixing videos. We were close, I think, losing with Barcelona, I think. Was it Barca? I think it was. Or oh, Man United. One of those two teams, we were really close to losing a final, but we got it done at the end. We've actually come very close to losing a few times, but with this team that we've got here, nah. We're not losing, boys. We are not losing. Consa now looks for Jack Grealish. Oh, the first touch there was just so nice. Grealish, difficult angle, puts it in so easily. Oh, Jack Grealish, this guy is unreal. Deserved to get more minutes at the Euros, man. What a player, honestly. 1-0 up against Bayern, but questions need to be asked about Manuel Neuer there. And also, what was the Bayern defense doing here? Neuer just positioned himself terribly for that. Grealish puts it in the top left corner. Captain leading by example. We've got the lead in a Champions League final against Bayern. Just what we needed. Oh, that's a good ball for Grealish. Bayern Munich have been completely opened up. Oh, that was bad. And that completely put me off. Yo, that challenge from Alaba was so bad. It almost got Grealish and he had to take a heavy touch to avoid going down. And because of that, we couldn't score. That is unfair. Grealish, if he would have gone down, we would have gotten a penalty for sure. Oh, I'm sending Ollie Watkins. He's too quick. He is uh, maybe not too quick, but he's earned us a free kick. Hermoso brings him down. Free kick? About 30, 25 yards or so. Let's see what we can do with this. Is Jack Grealish the best free kick taker in the squad? No, he isn't. Who's good at free kicks here? Pretty much nobody apart from maybe Harvey Barnes. So let's try taking this one with Barnes. A lot of power. Trying to get this one over and under. It's gone over and above, but yeah. I'm so bad at free kicks, man, honestly. Oh, that's a good ball for Awar. We got to defend this. Konsa does so well there. Fair play. Awar would have been through on goal there, so we needed that challenge to come through. Ezekiel Palacios goes down. That's a second yellow potentially for Kimmich. What's going to happen here? Is it going to be a second yellow? He had a yellow card just moments before. He has survived. The ref has not given a red card there where he probably should have. I'm going for goal with Konsa. Way above the crossbar. But Bayern could have easily been down to 10 men right there. We don't normally see a lot of aggression from the AI. But we're seeing Kimmich make two horrendous challenges and surviving somehow. And I think Hermoso is booked as well. Meanwhile, chance for Barnes. Brings it inside. Should be a goal. Superb. Just superb. This Aston Villa team that we've built, 
is something special. Like, honestly, they're just so, so good. Harvey Barnes celebrates as Aston Villa make it Dunan at half time. This challenge has been the most satisfying fixing challenge I think we've done. Everything has just gone according to plan. We didn't have any players asking to leave. Um, of course, one disappointing thing was the Youth Academy player wasn't really... We didn't really use him all that much. We might bring him on in the second half, I guess. But yeah, it's just been such smooth sailing. You love to see it. And it's all down to Aston Villa already having a solid keeper from the get-go. And Jack Grealish as well. 2 the up before halftime. We move. Barnes from distance. I don't know how players get in blocks like that. It's just so unrealistic. But fair play, I guess. Should be halftime. We're cruising against Bayern of all teams. Second half, let's see this one out. Oh, Rafinha has broken through here. Could be a lifeline for Bayern if they score off this. Awar breaks through. Matty Cash coming in with the block. Sometimes we need the luck from the blocks as well. Kimmich maybe should have been sent off. Is on it now. Bayern have opened up a bit of space. Kimmich. Oh, that's another challenge from Cash. Davies coming in flying. Bayern are definitely upping the tempo. But Hudson Odoi works hard to win that. Looks for Oli Watkins. And here we go, Oli Watkins. What was that? Like... What was I even trying there? Oh, Alfonso Davies. Look at the pace. He's unstoppable. Good cross coming in. Laporte strong clearance. Only for Goretzka to control it. Down for Kimmich. And now Bayern finally getting into the groove. If they score one, I'll definitely be worried as Lewandowski might have a chance. Emiliano Martinez comes forward and collects. Beautiful. Oh boy, that's a good pass for Coman. I'm going sliding in. Risky challenge, but I think I got a bit of the ball. And the man as well. But since I got the ball, we survived. Sending Harvey Barnes on a run here. Go on. Could look for maybe a cross in for Ollie Watkins. Neuer with a good, good punch. And Bayern survive again. Marcus Rashford. Oh, that's solid defending. I've got to give credit to the, the back line we've got. Consa is class. And so is uh, Imeric Laporte. Having the two has just made things so much easier for us. Grealish. Palacios. First time. I caught that one well, but not well enough. Champions League glory has been achieved for Aston Villa. 81-82, I guess, was the last time they won. And that was the European Cup back then. So, in the Champions League era, for the first time, Villa have done it. Laporte needed to leave Man City to win the Champions League, I guess. Yikes. But, yeah, we've done it, guys. Come on. Aston Villa in three seasons. I didn't expect this to be such a smooth ride. I remember the Brentford challenges, the Sheffield challenges we've done. They were such a massive grind. But here with Villa, everything just went smoothly. And it's down to having a good core. If you've got a solid keeper, that unbelievable creative talent in Grealish like we had, things are definitely much easier. And it's now time to celebrate the trophy. Three seasons of hard work, I'd say. And we've achieved it, guys. Champions League glory with Aston Villa. And not only that, we've won the Premier League, Carabao Cup, along the way and it's been a tremendous journey now if you guys have enjoyed the fixing aston villa challenge i'd really appreciate if you could spare a second and well drop a like in the video always helps the content subscribe as well if you are new around here because we've got career mode content coming on the daily for you guys and well i'll catch you guys next time